Welcome back to Living 757. Uh, Patricia, as you know, the holidays are upon us, yes, of course. They are. And that means people are busy, and so are the roads right here in the Hampton Roads area. So, here to help us out with a couple of tips to be safe on the highway, there's uh, uh, David Ratz from Huffman and Huffman. David, welcome back to Living 757. Glad to yeah. see you. Yeah, thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. Now, uh, what are the two biggest dangers? I, I, I believe that I'm sure that there are more, but I'm sure that there are like two, two or a few dangers here. Yeah, especially around the holidays. Yeah. Um, number one, probably drunk driving. Okay. And yes. number two, which is probably always a problem, is the distracted driving. But mm. as things are getting busier and people are chatting more, obviously cell phones are an issue as far as distractions. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you know, drunk driving with the holidays mm -hmm. and all the parties. So, you know, obviously a lot of people like to celebrate that way. Mm -hmm. If you do, just make sure you know, you have a designated driver or an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi lined up or something just to stay safe. Oh, yeah, so many um, options out there absolutely. for people. There are so many options these days, and I'm glad that I, we mentioned them. So another thing that I way super expensive on during the holidays is like a plane ticket. So sure. most of the people mm -hmm. choose to drive to see, to visit their loved ones, right? So what kind of tips you can provide for them so they can keep safety on the roads? Sure. Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. Number one, make sure your car is safe to drive on okay. the road. Make sure fluids are full. Make sure the lights work. Make sure you don't have, like, no brake pads left. Um, just lots of things making sure your vehicle is going to make it to your destination. So that's one thing. The other thing is, you know, make sure that you have plenty of sleep. You know, make mm, sure you important. can drive there safely. <laughs> yes. um, and then make sure you have a plan in case something does happen. Mm -hmm. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. If your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere on a Sunday uh -oh. afternoon, that could be a problem. You may be stranded, may not know how to deal with that. How do you get a rental car or, or mm -hmm. something like that? So, that you know, make sure you have a plan. Make sure you check the weather, right? Mm. It may be nice and 80 degrees in Hampton Roads, you know, at noon and right. it could be snowing by four by the time you hit sure. the eastern shore exactly or by the time you hit the richmond roads is. that's <laughs> right so make sure you check that weather and then obviously you know if you're driving with kids make sure you have things for them to do or things that keep them yes. occupied so they're not climbing over the seat on top of Very you while you're important. trying to drive so lots yeah. of things you can do so david i'm gonna go back to something that you said i was paying attention you said make sure that you have no brake pads because <laughs> that's dangerous david like if i have no brake pads man <laughs> but I'm sure, make sure that we do have some brake no, pads. Make sure you have. Because there's someone pads, out there that's going to be like, Huffman, Huffman said no brake pads. I'm yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, well, you know, that's one way to develop a client base. But, you know, <laughs> that, no, make sure, obviously, your car. Yeah, the, the equipment is working well. Obviously, too. Yes, so but a very important tip, Quincy, because you know a lot of people's gonna travel these days. Yep, yep. And lastly, uh, what are some final ways that we can ensure safety with our families on the road during the holiday season, David? Well, obviously, just be much more um, diligent mm -hmm. and vigilant about other drivers, especially could be a lot of other drunk drivers on the road. Mm -hmm. Wear your seatbelt. Yes, right? very That's important. That's very belt. important. So, wear your seatbelts, and again, just. Pay attention to the roads. Pay, pay attention, attention to other drivers. It's going to be busy. So. Don't speed. Take your time. That's Drive right. slow. It's going to be busy. So make David, it safe to your destinations. <laughs> David, we, we always like to have some very interesting, helpful scenarios for us and for the viewers. And you're a lawyer, so I'm sure you can help us out. Uh, you, you have a scenario, right? Yes. Everyone knows that Ashley loves to cook. And she loves to prepare uh, deep fried turkey for the holidays. Deep fried turkey. Deep fried yes. turkey for Thanksgiving. How about if she makes me eat so much turkey. And then, while I'm driving back home, I fall asleep. Can I suit her? You fall asleep and wreck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, because I ate too much turkey right. that I, then I'm so tired, I fall asleep. Can I suit Ashley for that? Because she cooks the turkey. Well, if she's <laughs> in the car with you and she gets hurt, I, I'm gonna re she's gonna retain me and I'm gonna sue you. So, oh my gosh. Uh, Bust it. But Bust no, it. I mean. <laughs> If you fall asleep, I have a feeling you're going to be on the opposite end for one of our lawsuits. So. Oh, so I got a good scenario. Let's say because everyone who knows me knows I don't drink. And I go to okay. a party and they are serving eggnog and they spike the eggnog. And I don't realize the taste is alcoholic and I drive home and I get busted for drunk driving. Uh, can I sue? Can I use that in court? Well, 
<laughs> you're probably gonna have to deal more with a criminal aspect of Ooh. that or a drunk driving aspect of that. And that, you'll have to call me and probably get referred to somebody else that handles that. But if you get into an accident, that okay. could certainly be an issue. But again... Because they spiked the eggnog and I didn't know it. And it tasted so good. You were the one that was drunk. So that's <laughs> exactly. going to be a problem. Okay. Well, David, thank you for those yes. uh, 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 answers there. And they're really quick. How can people contact you over the holidays if they need your help? Well, they can certainly contact us at Huffman & Huffman uh, at, on, on the Internet, HuffmanHuffman.com. Or they can reach out and call us at 757-599-6050. Thank you Perfect. Very much. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. I'm Happy glad to be Thanksgiving here. to Happy you and Thanksgiving your family. As well. Yeah, absolutely. Yes.